My name is Ken Sahested, founding director of the Baptist Peace Fellowship of North America. The pivotal memory I have for my time with the BPFNA unfolded from our founding meeting in March of 1984. I was convinced then that there were far more of us out there than anybody knew, far more peacemaking, justice-seeking, human rights-advocating folk in the larger Baptist family of faith. But many felt isolated and alone, discouraged, almost like illegitimate children in their community of faith. People who believe that peacemaking is not optional on the church's agenda, that the disarming of the heart and the disarming of the nations are woven together. Having discovered they have many brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles and grandparents, it generates creativity and vitality that wasn't there before. And sure enough, soon after we got started, we found kinfolk throughout the US, and not just in the US, we found some in Ontario, Canada. We discovered that British Baptists had had a peace fellowship since the 1930s. We connected with the Bautistas por la Paz in Puerto Rico. The Koibak group in Cuba, Initiative Shalom in Germany, the Fellowship of Concerned Baptists in South Africa, the Baptist Social Justice Group in Victoria, Australia, and an emerging network of contacts in multiple other countries. All this exploratory work led to us, led us to partition the European Baptist Federation to co-sponsor the very first Global Baptist Peace Conference hosted by Swedish Baptists in 1988. In, sub in subsequent years, we did the same with the Nicaraguan Baptist Convention, then served as consultants with Baptists in Asia for a conference in Thailand, then with Australians for a conference in Melbourne, in Rome with the Italian Baptists, and then with the Baptist Seminary in Cali, Colombia. Peacemakers are sometimes referred to as prophets, but I felt that the most important part of my work was pastoral in nature. The prophets are already out there. Our job was to find them, connect them, help them tell their stories, and introduce them to their extended family of collaborators. When these things happen, a power is unleashed that was not there before. Courage is contagious.